Hey, what's going on guys? Out here at Ski Beach, San Diego, California. This is Mission Bay, and I'm out here. Finally got some time to fly this quad. Haven't actually made a video in a little while, so here it is. And uh, so I have a few things to talk about here. The first one is gonna be this little 30 amp watt meter. Okay, I'm gonna have to do separate videos on all these different things. Um, otherwise, it's probably gonna be like a freaking hour long, but um, aside from that, I also got a new video out cable. It's for the Mobius. This one's super flexible. So uh, if you watch some of my other videos, I made um, a comment on the uh, the cable that comes with the Mobius um, is really thick and doesn't bend very easily. So I went ahead and bought that. It made a pretty big difference with the gimbal. Uh, what else I'm going to be talking about? I'm talking about these... Uh, freshly balanced props. These are the same ones I've been using for a while, but I bought a new prop balancer and I balanced these out. So if we look under here, I don't know if you, can see, you probably can't see it, but it's just electrical tape under there. And also I have, I have this. All right, so here's a monitor that I got from eBay. This actually came from China. They do not have it uh, for sale on the uh, the US side of eBay. So I went ahead and picked that up, but I'm gonna be doing a separate video on that. But anyway, let's go ahead and talk about this. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and set this thing up here. So right away you can see the voltage here. We have 12.4 uh, volts. Also says 12.4 volts on this meter right here. Voltmeter. All right, so the reason why I wanted to get this thing is because I wanted to see how much power this quad is using during flight. So I'm just gonna do like a quick hover, maybe for like 30 seconds to a minute or so. And um, so this actually has a button on here. You press that, you can see uh, how many amps it's currently pulling. So right now it's actually pulling 0.63 amps. Doing nothing, just sitting there. All right, push it again. You get how many watts it's using. It's using 7.83 watts right now, 7.95. All right. That's the watts peak. So at any given point, the maximum amount of watts it was using during uh, this thing connected. 8.23 watts. So that's the number I'm going to be looking at. How many watts um, and amps? All right. So if you don't have one of these uh, watt meters to use, uh, this is it was pretty cheap. Um, I'll put a link in the description description if you want to check it out. But um, there's another way you can do this um, to see how much power or watts or amps or whatever um, your quad or multi rotor is using. And uh, it's typically referred to the gram to watt ratio, okay? So um, I did the calculations on my own quad uh, several months ago, and I found out that uh, after flying for a minute, did some quick calculations, I charged the battery back up to see how much um, milliamp hours it used during that 60 second flight, and um, <clears throat> factored in how much this thing weighed at the time. And I found out my, my uh, gram to watt ratio was something like uh, four grams per watt. Okay, so that's pretty freaking bad. Um, uh, a really good ratio to have is somewhere around 10 or even 11. I know um, RC Timer has the, the 2212 motors and props combo and they advertise 11 grams per watt ratio, I believe. So I'll put a link in the description for that. Those are the motors and props that I really wanna get. Um, so for example, if you have a 10 gram per watt ratio, your quad will lift 10 grams for every one watt you give it. So if you give it 100 watts, it'll lift 1,000 grams. Now, it's not linear, you know, okay, so if you give it 50 watts, it's gonna you know, calculate that it's, the uh, the amount of power draw is not linear. It's kind of it's kind of curved depending on the type of props you have, uh, the way you fly, you know, the weight, the efficiency of the props. Um, 
of course that actually the, the props have a lot to do with it well everything has a lot to do with it actually the and um, but these motors here are pretty much a piece of crap they're very inefficient so I'm gonna go ahead and fly this thing right now and see how much power we're pulling Just had that guy stop and talk to me for a minute. Well, let's see what we have here. Watts, 6.89 watts. Yeah, that can't, that must be the minimum, 6.89 watts peak. So the thing that I noticed when I was flying, it was about 280 watts when it was just kind of sitting there. Uh, the 306 happened when I punched the throttle a few times. And um, are you fucking serious? They got, what the fuck? Anyway, <laughs> so I punched the throttle a few times and uh, got up to 306. I mean, I, it could have gone a lot higher than this, but uh, let's see what else we have. 11.9 volts right now. Volts minimum 10.7. Amps, 5.8 was the minimum. And 28 amps was the peak. Okay, so, so that should give you somewhat of an idea. All right, so I just did another quick flight and uh, just kind of brought it up in the air, punched the throttle a little bit. 35.7 amps is the peak on that one. Watts peak is 383. I think it was like 230 watts when I was just sitting there hovering. And let's see, volts, 5.9 amps. 35 amps so that's pretty much it for this video if you want to see how much power your multi-rotor is pulling this is a little tool that you can get it costs just a few dollars and uh, get an idea of how much uh, you know just overall how much power it's pulling if it's efficient not so efficient um, and uh, really gives you an idea of um, if you're just wasting power or if you need a new motor and prop combination maybe you're setup is too heavy maybe your battery is too heavy and in some cases maybe you're better off getting a smaller battery with less capacity and you may end up getting longer flight times with it you never know all right guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe see you guys in the next one